hello and welcome back uh, to our channel uh, if you're new my name is Adelina Tibesigwa I'm a digital retoucher based in Dar es Salaam Tanzania uh, and this is a this is the second part of our journey in achieving a perfect result with Dojenban so let's start uh, as our previous tutorial which was about cleaning up and the player pairing our image for the next step well i'm going to put the link on the description below so go and check it out if you haven't uh, the previous tour was about cleaning up our image as you see and healing our image used showing you the tools that i love and those were healing and clone stamp tool well after cleaning up my image I love to jump on the next uh, process and that is dojen ban and it's what I'm going to show you dojen ban yes so there's a two type of dojen ban that I know of and that I'm lucky enough to experience them and those are dojen ban with 50% gray layer and uh, dojen ban with cover adjustment layer Okay, but today I'm only going to show you about dodge and burn by using cover adjustment layer. Why? Because there's a tutorial already about dodge and burn using 50% gray layer. Again, I'm going to put the link on the description below and you go check it out. Okay, so here we are. Let's get started well as you see our model her name is rosinda photographed by ose and the image right here is already been cleaned up i cleaned it like yesterday so i can show you the next step well what is cover adjustment layer actually cover adjustment layer it's the same thing it's i paint by using shadow and highlight that's what I understand about it. I'm using Carvo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm using shadow and highlight to paint my subject, to retouch my subject, or to edit my subject. So the image is already cleaned up, as you see. And uh, once I cleaned up my image, I would like to put a black and white layer on top and usually that layer stays on top always and uh, there's two types of you know any kind of black and black and white layer like right here is black and white sorry the color black and white right here is 50 percent gray layer and right here is channel mixer with cover adjustment layer and uh though this black and white you can choose it depends with what you're comfortable with and how fast you are and this already stays on top of my layers as an help layer to help me out to see where the shadows are and where the highlights are and where should I dodge or where should I burn okay so let's delete them and I'm going to show you how I create them for me I love to use let me show what I love to use okay so for me i really love to use a channel mixer okay so i'm going right here and select a channel mixer i'm going to tick this box monoclone which is for black and white i guess and i'm going to reduce the leadness a little bit right here and uh, i'm going to add cover just curve curves and uh, i'm going to play on the mid tones depends with how I see the images you see now I can see clearly where the shadows are and where the highlights are and where should I burn okay so this is just an help layer it has nothing to do with okay it's part of the process I guess but it's just at the end of the day I'm going to delete it and continue so this is my help layer I'm going to name it help so once I'm done with that, and this is the part where I'm going to add my dodge rare, 
by using cover adjustment layer and that is right here curve I'm going to okay so you have to know how curve works no this is just basic right here is the shadow earlier and right here is high right earlier so if I'm going to use a dodge as as, uh, as if I'm going to use curve adjustment layer as my pluses I have to to hard highlight in between those areas and some love to call it mid tones so right here is mid tones and I'm going to pop going to add, not so much don't add, add it so much just a little bit okay and uh, this is our dodge rear and I'm going to invert it Inverse or inverted. Okay, command I. Okay, we invert it, and then again, I'm going to add our band layer using cover adjustment here. Yes, right here, and a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Okay. Yes, and then invert it. Command I. Then I'm gonna write band and. As always, I'm going to loop them right here. Yeah, that's that's how it is. So I'm going to write dodge and burn. And here we are, our dodge and burn cover adjustment layer. And that, that's how you made, that's how you create dodge and burn by using cover adjustment layer. Just two layer of curves, you know. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to choose my brush, which is a brush tool, just a brush tool. And most of the time I have to, it has to be a softer brush. So right here I have to be careful. And it's already hardness. No, I'm not sure it's zero percent. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's how it goes. Well, and opposite right here it's about opacity is 100 percent i don't even want to think about it and uh, flow is five percent i don't go higher than that okay i don't go higher than that even if i'm using wacom it's i don't go higher than five percent and uh, the difference between opacity and flow i guess i'm not sure but the because the reason why I love to use five percent because it's just give me that smooth stroke, you know. No matter how much I I repeat on brushing, it keeps on giving me a smooth stroke compared with opacity, you know. No matter how much I, whatever case I reduced it, it will not give me that smooth stroke. It, it, it will not give me that smooth stroke that I'm looking for. Instead, it will be building some stroke up. It's just, you know, like I'm going to put the link below and I'm going to explain it more. But in case of the flow, it just give me that smooth stroke. And, uh, you know, it's just going slowly as it is. Okay, so uh, I don't know what this is, what this is, but I have to, it's a pressure. Yeah. No, I'm going. Okay, I'm going to create my pressure, and yeah, that's how I'm starting. Okay, so as you can see, as from our previous tutorial, and right here, an option tool is really important because it's where you got to set your tools. So, once I make sure, once I'm sure with my brushes, the next step is to you know dive right in and start on brushing uh and start on brushing as it is i at first i love to to put the visibility on my black and white layer as an help so i can see clearly and i'm um, start with the usual the basic you know an elephant in the loom uh, there's a shadow you can see like right here there's a shadow that is too much shadow I'm not going to remove it all 
So, and be careful. Dojen burn is a really good technique, but sometimes you have to be careful because it can change the, sh the shape of your model or the, sh the shape of your subject. So, right here, it's too much shadow. I'm going to reduce it, but I'm not going to remove it all. Right here, there's a bit of shadow, I guess, the dark here, and you know, you will see. So, let's, let's get started. Usually, start with the eyes. Okay. slowly do not zoom in too much do not zoom out too much just and take your time okay it, this is step it's a really easy step but it really needs it really needs patience and if you're starting out uh, yeah let me see before and after you see you see the difference Okay, so you keep on doing that. Right here on nose area. Uh, okay, my phone is ringing. Let me, okay, on okay, the nose area. Yeah, those are basic area. You see, and another question is: Do not put an help layer invisible all the time. Do not, do not make it so active all the time. Just, you know, deactivate and see how your image looks like you see so we're going to continue with this okay I like told you right here there's a bit of shadow on a chin area and those are my toughest <laughs> toughest parts you know right here The eyes are the window to the soul. Okay. Uh, around on our mouth, lips. Say, let me let you use this. And, and this mm. little bit of darkness right here so it all goes with practice just do not be hard on yourself you just need to keep on practicing and practicing and practicing and find the easy image to work with okay quality image you know I I usually believe that cover adjustment layer it's a it's a really sensitive technique so see so once you're done with the basic you just zoom in and see okay Right, right here there's a bit of shadow okay let me shape a lips and also I have a tutorial uh, a blog post where to know your image is done this i'll just point out the key points where you should retouch you know as you can see i retouched the lips so i'm going again to put the link on our description
and since this is a portrait I do not want to go all in and you know and right here you see there's a bit of sharpness so it's take it, it takes practice to see all these areas you know you so you gotta practice and believe in yourself that's how I started at first I didn't believe on this person I was like they are lying like you can't just do this and that and have a smoother a smoother result a smoother image and clean image there must be something else no it's just this technique so be patient enough and trust in yourself that it will be okay as long as you keep on practicing okay so yeah that's my advice to you okay? you see the difference it's just only cover just layer. layer. the teeth you know like just left to go around them the eye area there's a bit of darkness you know sometimes when it comes to the eye area I can be crazy so I'm just gonna do like this you know just like this okay see yeah okay okay see that's how you're using it if you want to go all in just go and practice and practice the more you the more you keep on practicing the more you keep on brushing the cleaner the image it will be okay the more you you, you put your time into it the better the result it will be you know something like this the air a little bit see that's the difference and that's why unhelped layer helps me to see like is the shape all like all right to uh, did I change the shape of my model if not I'm gonna continue a little bit to add some highlights on our cheekbone you know just a little bit but also I see some there's a little bit of darkness right here I'm going to reduce it you see yeah okay. see something like right here okay oh no so right here see and that's how the gym brand works with cover adjustment layer okay and when it comes to burn as you can see I don't I'm not I don't use burn that that much but let me show you right here I love to use it on the eyebrows and right here so I can create the shape okay. I'm not the burn user okay is there any difference yeah you see so I will go with that and keep on practicing practicing and pushing and by the way this series is already out it's on Beans. I'm gonna put the link again so you can go and check it for yourself I use Dodge and Ban uh, with cover adjustment layer of course and uh, this is do you want me to highlight the hair well until next time I'm going to highlight the hair and see how the hair looks like you know I don't wanna just wait and see well and that's so let me review it for today okay so let me leave you it for you as you can see our image is already clean up cleaned up and uh, once you are really satisfied with your cleaned up result the next step which I will, was showing today was Dojenban and uh, I was using 
applying this technique by using cover adjustment layer and as you can see there's a two rare right here the one is for dodge and the one is for burn and i burned as you see and it really works so keep on practicing and another thing make sure your brush is softer and on your option tool the flow is really low you know set your flow in a rate where it's so comfortable for you to apply for me it doesn't go above five percent well and that's it for today till our next tutorial i'm going to show you how i usually highlight this hair and what the next step will be well till next time bye bye and thank you don't forget to subscribe bye